Thank you. Mr. Chairman, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, um, the relevant uh, percentage of morbidity and mortality is reported after um, TME <clears throat> and uh, very high percentage of a functional sequela. In the li literature, there are two prospective randomized trials. Uh, one of is on T1 and the other one is on the selected uh, T2 rectal cancer combined with the new advanced chemotherapy that show similar oncological results if treated with the, um, local excision or local treatment. Consequently, quality of life represents a key point in the choice of a surgical treatment. Concerning the operation performed by transanal endoscopic microsurgery, our uh, reported uh, studies that show no significant change. But uh, this study indeed uh, utilize only full thickness excision and do not use uh, a more wild uh, um, dissection and resection like the what we call endoluminal local regional resection. <coughs> that is clearly shown in these slides and also in this uh, short uh, clip you see how large is the defect created after the endoluminal local regional resection. You can see clearly the uh, pelvic pavement and the elevator of any of left side. <coughs> to evaluate the effect of surgery, we included only uh, early rectal cancer. Um, so we have two groups. One is um, underwent laparoscopic total mesorectal excision, and the other group is uh, the endoluminal local, re local regional resection. And um, all, all uh, patients were investigated before surgery, one month, six months, and 12 months after. All patients had negative margin to the definitive histology. We utilize the um, forms of the European Organization of Research and Treatment of Rectal Cancer, and we use the two uh, specific um, uh, forms. One is a C30 that give information, uh, general information about the cancer, and the other one, the CR38, that give specific uh, uh, information concerning the rectal cancer. This is the statistical analysis. <coughs> As you can see in uh, these slides and uh, in the uh, following, there is um, a similar uh, percentage of a score, similar score in the two groups be, uh, before the operation. The patient underwent the uh, laparoscopic total macular excision showed as a, uh, impairment of all the examined uh, items as clearly shown in these slides. And this uh, impairment persisted six months after the operation. On the contrary, patient underwent uh, endoluminal local regional resection by TEM as shown uh, a limited number of uh, item modified and only to one month. After one month, all returned to the normal uh, preoperative uh, score. Uh, concerning the <coughs> CR38, we have the same uh, um, situation. You can see that uh, in the laparoscopic total mesorectal excision, all the uh, items have been modified and, uh, per, and uh, persistent modified at six months. On the contrary, the uh, patient underwent to endoluminal local regional resection had only two items modified, and uh, this is limited to the one month after the operation. In conclusion, Mr. Chairman, ELR by TEM uh, induce a worsening of quality of life limited to, to one month of surgery. On the contrary, laparoscopic total mesorectal excision has a negative impact on quality of life up to six months of surgery. 
in early rectal cancer in which the endoluminal treatment gives the same oncological results of a total mesorectal excision, the choice of a treatment should be based on quality of life. And the preserved quality of life after ELR justify the use also in case of large benign lesion with the risk of malignancy. I like thanks the society for the privilege of this presentation and uh, thank you for your attention. <coughs> thank you. Uh, grazie, grazie, complimenti. Um, any questions from the audience, please? Uh, just a question regarding the position of the tumors, whether the fact that anterior or posterior tumors affect uh, the selection for the, the second group. Position. Position. Sorry, can the, you the position of the tumor, so whether it's an anterior tumor or, or a posterior tumor or, or laterally. Uh, he's talking about position of the patient and whether, is that right? The position, position of the, the tumor within the, the, uh, within the, the lumen. The distance of the, the lesion is similar. The two groups were similar, and this is shown also from the score, preoperative score, in uh, both the uh, C30 and uh, CR38 uh, form. So the two groups are absolutely similar. Thank you. Emmanuel, if, if I may, I want to thank you for um, indirectly uh, casting the light on our good friend, departed friend, Gerhard Buis whose contribution uh, you make live on. Uh, I think there, it's important that uh, data be documented regarding TEM because there's more and more interest and the, the application uh, expands as well. I'd like to ask you a question. Uh, uh, do you, have you documented which patients had wound separation? We know that wound separation following uh, local excision uh, after radiation in particular uh, uh, occurs with some frequency and is a cause for discomfort. Uh, okay. do, do you have that information about which patients had wound separations? Wound separation. Separation. Yeah, the, wound, the wound coming apart. Dehiscence. Dehiscence. Yes. Oh, yes. So you mean some foundations of the suture line. That's yeah. the important yes. question? Well, <clears throat> I have um, yesterday uh, in, this, in this room uh, make uh, an observation that we are going to publish in the next uh, future. Um, well, we have changed the uh, way to uh, perform the suture and also two other two aspects as relevant. The uh, preoperative neoadjuvant treatment has no uh, significant influence in our experience on the risk of adhesions of the suture line. We now fill out with the glue the uh, cavity that is posterior to the suture line. And uh, at the end of the operation, we fill out the uh, new rectum cavity with the iodine sponges for three days and leave inside for three days. The concept is to reduce as maximum as possible the empty cavity behind the dations, because there are two different dations. One is related mainly to the defect of suture, and this is a, you have immediately in the first uh, uh, few days. But the majority of the dations occur later on, and uh, in my opinion is related to the fact that the, the liquid, the, the, uh, the um, collect liquid in the cavity, the new cavity behind the suture line as the cause of the dations because they uh, have a um, uh, bacteria overgrowth yes. and then follow the um, less, uh, um, the, the easier way to go out, that is the suture line of course. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.